One of my best performing videos right now is how to fix OBS in macOS Catalina. In that video, I showed you how running the app through the terminal in macOS could fix a lot of the problems people were having with crashes and input into the application. I also got a comment on that video in which a user was asking if I could make a similar command for Steam because they were having a couple of issues there. So I did, but I figured I would also make this video talking about how to run any application from the terminal on macOS because it oftentimes can fix a lot of problems and is a great troubleshooting step if something isn't working properly. All right, so here we are on macOS. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open number one, Finder. So just open a window and go to the Applications tab. Then you're also gonna wanna open Terminal. So as you can see, you can just pop into Spotlight Search and search for it and open the application. So now that we've got these two windows open, we can get started looking at how to run any app using Terminal. So all Terminal is, or all the Terminal command is that runs an application is a file path to the executable file. So we can see that we're already in the Applications tab in Finder. So we can start off our command by going slash applications. Then after that, we want to pick our application. So pick anything. Um, I've used this for OBS, which actually the issue is fixed now. Uh, let's go with, I don't know, Atom, which is a open source text editor, if you didn't know. So what we want to do is we want to put the name, which is Atom, and then put dot app, because that's what this thing we're looking at right here is. Then you want to either control click or double click and go show package contents. So then you'll see there's a contents folder. So we're going to go back to our terminal slash contents. Then you're going to go in there and then there'll be a bunch of folders. Usually the executable file will be in a folder called macOS. If not, just do some digging around in these folders until you find it. So in this case, there's macOS. So we can put slash macOS. Then this is the executable file. As you can see, it's a Unix executable. This, if I double click it right now, will launch Atom. But what we want to do is put the name of this file. So in this case, it would just be Atom, like this. You don't need .exe, you don't need any of that stuff. And then in terminal, we would hit enter. And would you look at that, Atom has opened itself up through the terminal. And as I mentioned, this can be a great troubleshooting step for things, or it can just be um, you know, a way to fix certain crashes and things. So it's very useful to sometimes hop into the terminal. Now, you have to do this every single time you want to open a new application like this. Um, the user who commented on my uh, OBS fixing video was like, hey, you know, I want to run Steam using this. And he had, you know, tried out a couple of different commands. But if we go into Steam here, we go into show package contents and dig through the folders, you can see that the executable is actually Steam underscore OS X, obviously standing for Mac OS X. Um, so you need to use that name of the executable file. So it was steam.app slash contents slash Mac OS slash steam underscore OS. And then if you see any commands like this on the internet and yours isn't working, sometimes the executable file name can change from version to version of a program. So you always just want to hop into the package contents. And as you can see, Steam has launched perfectly and uh, check out what's going on. And then all you have to do is type that um, file path into terminal and it will run the application for you. Well, there you have it. That's how to run any application using the terminal on macOS. Subscribe for more tech videos and tutorials like this and follow me on Twitter at KyleGNew.